Well, 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 good morning. Good morning from Brazil. This is your grandma, Ava, and I'm here today with a new book. The name of this book is The Taxi That Hurried. You might not know what a taxi is. I don't think they have them in Madison or Stoneville or even Reedsville. Maybe. But years ago, if you lived in a city and you didn't have a car, you could ask for a person to come to your house and pick you up. But you had to pay money. And most of the cars were yellow and they were called taxis. Today, sometimes people can get a Uber car. That's through your cell phone. But this was years ago. And you could call them on a phone. Or if you were in the city and you needed a ride, you would stand on the corner and look for one of the yellow cars. And when you saw them, you would wave for them to stop and take you where you needed to go. So this is the name of the book. The Taxi That Hurry. It's a little bit long, but I think we can read it today. And look at all the cars in that city. Do you see the taxis? The taxis are yellow, and that way people could see them to find them. And this is the man that's in our story today. It says, once there was a taxi. It was a bright yellow taxi with two red lines running around its body. Inside it had a soft leather seat and two hard little let down seats. It was a smart little taxi for it could start fast, jerk quiz. It could tear along the street, whiz, squeak. It could stop fast, squeak, jerk. Its driver's name was Bill. Together they were a speedy pair. One day, the taxi was standing on the street close to the sidewalk. Bill and the little taxi didn't like to stand still very long. I wonder who will be our next passengers, thought Bill. Just then, Bill heard some feet running on the sidewalk. Thump, thump, thump. And he heard some smaller feet pattering along too. Thumpity, thumpity, thumpity. He leaned out and saw Tom with a little suitcase and Tom's mother with a big suitcase. And both of them were breathing hard. <sighs> oh, gasped Tom's mother. Taxi driver man, please drive us to the station as fast as you can. We're very late and the train won't wait. Oh, oh, oh. Tom and his mother tumbled into the taxi and slammed the door. Sure, lady, answered Bill. We're a speedy pair. We can get you there. Away went the taxi like a yellow streak. Tom and his mother bounced and jounced on the leather seats. Then suddenly, squeak jerk, the taxi, taxi stopped short. Ahead shone a red light. Underneath the light stood a big traffic policeman. Tom's mother called, Taxi driver man, must you stop when lights are red? We simply have to get ahead. We're terribly late and the train won't wait. Bill answered, Surely, lady, you have seen how cars must wait till lights are green. We're a speedy pair. We'll surely get you there. Then suddenly, jerk whiz, they were off again down the crowded street. The light had changed to green again. Away went the taxi, down the street, faster and faster. Now it had to turn and twist, for the street was full of traffic. See the boy in the back seat? He's watching. The little taxi hurried past all the trucks and wagons and other taxis like a yellow streak. And people could hardly see Tom's little face looking out the window as he bounced and jounced. My, said the people on the sidewalk. 
That's a speedy taxi. I wonder why it's in such a hurry. Lucky it's got such a good driver. The taxi wiggled around a big bus. It jiggled around a trolley truck. Trolley track. Then suddenly, squeak, jerk, the little taxi stopped short again. Uh-oh. See how it's having to go between all the cars? In the big city, sometimes people don't stay in their lane. It stood stock still behind a big coal truck that was backing up to the sidewalk. The driver was trying hard to get his truck just the right way for the black coal to go jumping and clattering down its slide into a hole in the sidewalk. Tom stood up so he could see the big coal truck better. He could see the handle on the side. He wished he could watch the driver turn that handle and make the big truck tip up in the front. He almost wished they were not in such a hurry. What do you think's going to happen? Hmm. Uh oh, look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is where the coal is going to go. Tom's mother called, Taxi driver man! First it's a cop that makes you stop. Now we're stuck behind a truck. We're awfully late and the train won't wait. So Bill called to the truck driver, Please, will you let me get by? And the truck driver grinned and stopped his truck. Carefully and slowly, Bill squeezed by the big coal truck close to the sidewalk. Bill called over his shoulder, We're a speedy pair. We'll get you there. Oh, I hope that cat gets out of the way before it's too late. Move, cat. Cats are crazy. Tom's mother bounced so hard on the wide leather seat that her head whacked on the ceiling of the taxi. Her hat slid down over one ear. Her big suitcase fell over with a bang on the floor and Tom's little suitcase hopped off the seat. Tom's mother pulled her hat on straight again. Then she looked at her watch. Then she looked out the window at all the taxis and buses and trucks. See all the boys and girls on a bus? And the sign says, no parking. Once more, she called to Bill on the front seat. Taxi driver man, first it's a cop that makes you stop. Then you get stuck behind a truck. Now the traffic is in our way. We're likely to sit here for the rest of the day. We're terribly late and the train won't wait. We're terribly late and the train won't wait. So Bill began to blow his horn. Honk, honk, shrieked the little taxi. Honk, honk. We want to go. You make us slow. We're a speedy pair. We want to get there. Honk, honk, honk. The nearer they came to the station, the more taxis and buses and trucks were on the street. Past them all, the speedy taxi wiggled and jiggled, twisting and turning and curving and dodging. Tom jounced so hard on the little let down seat that he could hardly see all the trucks and taxis and wagons and buses on the street. Suddenly they stopped and Bill blew his horn again. Honk, 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 honk. Down the street, up above the station, they could see the big station clock. Where is it? Oh, here it is, by the flag. In five minutes, the train would go. Five minutes. They were horribly, terribly, awfully late. And they knew the train would not wait. Then suddenly, jerk, jerk, the traffic began to move. First a taxi, then a bus, then a truck, then more taxis, more buses, more trucks, till the whole line was moving. The little taxi twisted and wiggled through the traffic. It dodged around a bus. It twist around a truck. It whizzed past a taxi. Tom's mother kept looking at the big clock. 
it said four minutes before the train would go, then three minutes, then two minutes. Then the little taxi drew up to the station. Tom jumped out of the taxi while his mother gave Bill the money. She grabbed her big suitcase. Tom grabbed his little suitcase and off they ran. Thump, 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 thumpity, thumpity, thumpity. Do you think they're going to make it? Bill looked after them and grinned at his yellow taxi. Sure, he said, we're a speedy pair. We got them there. And it was true. The conductor was just ready to signal the engineer to start the engines. But he saw Tom and his mother come running down the platform and he waited for them. He took the big suitcase from Tom's mother held the door open for her and handed her the big suitcase. Tom stepped up on the train after her, panting from his run and holding his little suitcase. All aboard! All aboard! Last call! Called the conductor, waving his hand to the engineer. Then the conductor swung onto the train just as it began to move. You're a fast runner, he said to little Tom. And to Tom's mother, he said, lady, you just made it. Tom was still breathing hard, but he managed to gasp out. We made it because we had a speedy taxi and a speedy driver. You should have seen them. That taxi hurried. And that's the name of the book, The Little Taxi That Hurried. I hope you like that book. Do you see my Christmas cards? I got a lot of Christmas cards this year. More than that. I got a big stack full on one day. I hope you had a good Christmas. And I hope that this year in 2020, I can send you more videos. And do you know what? It's only four months away until Grandma and Vovo visit you in North Carolina. That's right. January, February, March, April, May. January, February, March, April, May. And if you count, if you count how many months until May, one, two, three, four. So four months before we come in May. Remember that January, February, March, April, May. And in May, Grandma is going to get on a plane and come to visit you. I hope it's a speedy plane and I hope we're not late because if we're late, they might not wait. Bye-bye. I love you.